like a dragon breathe smoke and flame pray that she'll softly breathe your name walk like a dragon hold your head high and she like a tiger spit like a sidewind and rattlesnake never forget that to get what you want you must reach out and take for your own sake walk like a dragon Proud and profane Maybe the gods could smile And if the gods should smile You'll never walk alone again You got a shipment of mining equipment for Jericho? Oh, yes, boss. Everything ready. Wait, Foggy, yeah. Ling me for the fight here. Yo. Bring it through, eh? How do you like Frisco? Did you ask him yet? Keep your voice down. You can talk this chop-chop nonsense if you like, but I'm not going to. All right, have it your way. Mr. Butler, China boy one right. Uh, no money. He want to go Cherico. Uncle will pay there. You take, please. Who's your uncle? He owns the laundry there, sir. His name is Wu Chung. Where'd you learn to speak English like that? American missionaries in China. Okay, Jack, get aboard. Thank you, but my name is Chang Lu. I've just arrived in California. a house? No. It's a slave market. A slave market? We just got through fighting a war over slavery. Gentlemen, 
little man. First, something to tempt any man. Joy Ken Sama. Kim Sung from Macau, age 19. An unusual property. She is well educated, speaks many languages, no English, but she is quick to learn and trained to please. A maiden. Gentlemen, gentlemen, bids. Yet back, man. One hundred for this. You mean that little girl will be sold into a brothel? I'm bid. Who'll make it three? Sam Buckman. Three hundred, I'm bid. Four hundred. Sam Buckman, four hundred. Who'll make it five? Four hundred and fifty. Please, please. Precious, precious. Four hundred and fifty. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Five hundred. Five hundred. Please, please, gentlemen. Going, going. Look, Buckman. Six hundred, six hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred on bed. Seven hundred on bed. Seven hundred, please, gentlemen. The jewel of China. Going, going. Seven fifty in gold. Who'll make it more? I said seven fifty in gold. Seven fifty in gold. It's yours. Wait on. Wait on. There he is. Where you been, man? We're ready to go. Here's the bill of lading. They all here? All right. Here's her bill of sale. You're free. Go along now. You go. Free. You go. Go. No, member. Since then. Tell her she's free. I don't understand. I said, tell her she's free. She's your responsibility now. There's no way for her to go except back there. You bought her. You bought her? What else could I do? It's the only way I could get her out of there. What's the matter with you? Is there a devil in your head? You get back to your mule. A pleasure. They have more brains than you. Tell her. But is he gonna go man back? Where you want me? Shut up. Where is your? I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. What is she saying, Mr. Butler? If you lend me the money, I'll take her off your hands. You what? I'll buy her from you. She's worth the money. We don't buy and sell people here, Jack. Not anymore.
I thought I was seeing things, Angus. Where'd she come from? Never see Chinese girl around here before. Link bought her in San Francisco. Bought her? I purchased her. What are you gonna do, Link? Charge so much luck? Oh! Ah! Give up. What are you doing? No, no, no. Come on. Get up. Get up. Go to bed. Hmm? Mule's bedded down, Link. Good. You take the first watch. Sweet dreams, Massa Lincoln. You go to bed, huh? You go to bed, huh? Jack, come here. Tell her to go to bed in the wagon. Mihai go shifun. Dim kai kwe na ngo, kwe mchung yi ngo. She asks what she has done to displease you. Mr. Bartlett, she has been trained to please. If I were you, I'd get some sleep, Jack. Come on. Why insult her? Or is it because she's Chinese? I told you to get some sleep. Sleep, huh? Keep away from her. You understand? Talking to her? Yeah, you might get ideas. I only keep you around so you can tell her what I want. You stay away from her, or I'll chop that pigtail off. You'd have to kill me first. You're just like women about your long braids, aren't you? We're not. We're disgusted with cues. Why don't you cut them off, then? If we do, we can never go back to China. What's that? Centuries ago, the Manchus conquered us and ordered us to accuse as a disgrace. If we walk the streets of China without one, we're executed at once. The cue is our shame. I don't understand you barbarians. My ancestors were civilized when yours were still living in caves. Another crack like that, Jack, and you walk into Jericho with your head in your hands. You stay away from that girl. That's an order. Out. Oh! 
We deliver this stuff to Cabot. I'll see you in the office tomorrow. Right. Give me that bundle. All right, sir. Yeah. Oh. oh. What about, uh, what about the wee apple blossom? I'll take her, too. Put her on behind. Come on, I see. Get up. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Butler. Thank you for the ride. I'll get the passage money. Forget it. Biscuits, eh? Must be expecting me. The whole town's expecting you. Is it true? What? Did you buy a heathen woman? Speak up. Thought maybe you could use a little help around the house. Are you out of your mind, Link? Well, you see, if she'll break your heart, she's as smart as a whip. I put up with a lot of things, Lincoln. Like you're being underfoot when you should have a home of your own. Like you're spending half your time with that foreign woman. We're all foreigners here, Ma. Gambling and drinking your life away. Oh, come on. I put up with all that. But buying a heathen and bringing her into my house, I will not abide. Take it easy. She's just outside. What's going to happen to her if we don't take her in? I don't care. All I know is I'm not living around a heathen who's in league with the devil. Or why else would you have bought her if she hadn't put an evil spell on you? <laughs> some water on the stove. If she's staying, she'd best have a bath. You, girl. You, follow. You see what I mean? Well, fancy being taught to do that. Inside with you. Lie down in the bed. Scoot under the covers. So, there. So. Good night, Kim Song. No, no. No, no. No, no. Now lie down. Oh, the Lord bless your sleep, you poor little mite.
Butcher's Linker. Evening, Sheriff. Ma'am. Is it true? What? La muchacha. Kind of peaceful tonight, isn't it? Ah, let them kill themselves. That's what they want anyway. When Spain ruled California, we were civilized. It was music, guitars. Remember Lincoln? I'm a de Vega. A Don. Hmm? Hey, you want the badge? I got enough problems. Wakes up. Tell him to watch where he's shooting, huh? Well, he wasn't firing at you, Link. This here boy comes sashaying down the street like he was a white man or something. He should have stayed where he belongs. I told you to watch your manners, Jack. He's new here. I'll take him. You got a knife? Please. No. Beat it. But I don't know where to go. Go down the alley and you... Come on, I'll show you. You have to get yourself killed? Come on and have a drink. That link, I'll fix him. Come on. Mr. Bartlett. Good journey, maybe? This boy says you're his uncle. I brought him from Frisco. I said, Go hi, Ching. Ka Ching Li. I pay for passage. How much, please? Forget it. You tell China boy how to live in Jericho, huh? He fooled crazy. Me fix. Me fix. You been there? I cut it. You don't need them here in America. And I've no wish to return to China. I like it here. I don't understand what's going on here. Now you speak perfect English. A moment ago, you were talking gibberish. You say you like it when they treat us like pigs. It's worth it. Sit down. Sit down. If you want to stay alive, you always have to follow certain rules. If you want to stay here and make money, you speak pidgin English. I'm glad you arrived safely with pigtail intact. Now, tell me all your news. I do not like it here. By your leave, Captain. Oh, it's been a long time since I heard that, Deacon. <laughs> it has indeed. Let's see, Vicksburg, Shiloh. Gettysburg. Mm. Well, the years have treated you kindly, Link. Praise the Lord. To you, old sinner. You're still alive. A good die first. And they whose hearts are dry as summer dust burn to the socket. <laughs> you passing through? No, no, I was sent for. It seems the, uh, the ungodly bother Miss Raid from time to time. 
Well, it looks like we'll have some peace and quiet around here for a change, huh? If the Lord wills. May I? Pearl, huh? Well, what about you, Link? You, uh, you live here? Yeah, I got a freight line. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. That's rice, in case you didn't recognize it. Go ahead, sweep it up, take it home. Get her to cook it for you. I like what you cook better. Oh, so you have tasted the cooking, huh? <laughs> tu t'es bien amusé à San Francisco. T'as eu un bon voyage. On peut avoir confiance en toi, oui. I got a present for you. You want it? No, ça m'intéresse pas ton présent. <laughs> See you later. Hi, Link. How was Fresco? Cold and foggy. <laughs> Entre. <rire> ah, tu te crois malin. Tu profites d'un voyage à San Francisco pour t'amuser avec une chinoise, alors tu te crois très intelligent. Tu es brave. Toro. Toro. Continue. Hi, Reddy. My name is Lily Red. Tu sais ce que tu mérites. Don't go cutting up something doesn't belong to you. Explain yourself. I don't explain things. That's why I'm single. Oh, I know a better reason. I wouldn't marry you if you asked me to. Should I ask you and find out if you mean it, huh? Don't waste your breath. Don't worry, I won't. I'd let take me up on it. Are you gonna behave yourself, or should I leave? Present for you. What's the matter with you? Getting jealous of a little Chinese girl. You know, I wouldn't touch one with a ten-foot pole. Why did you buy her for her, then? I just told you. I don't like having to explain what I do. Well, I know men. They're all colorblind when it comes to women. And you're no different. And I don't need a ten-foot pole to know when you're lying to me. You sound like a wife. One more word out of you, and I'm leaving. Come here. Come here. One egg. One egg. Good. One, good. Three, very good. Morning, Missy. Morning, Wu. Him, nephew, new China boy. Oh? What are you doing, girl? It's only old Wu, the laundry man. Say, good morning. Say, Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Into the kitchen. 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 You wait. Lucky man, that Bartlett. She's beautiful. You lend me eight hundred and fifty dollars. Do you think you could buy her from him? He bought her. Why shouldn't he sell her with some profit? You approve of slavery? I want that woman. You are madder than I thought. Now you listen to me. You came here to make enough money to redeem your lands and to get your family out of slavery. That is all. That is not all, Uncle. I came also because I believed that this was the land of free men. 
you're a fool. No land is ever free. But what has this to do with a slave girl? I just know I want her. And I swear by my ancestors that someday soon, whatever the cost, I will walk tall like a dragon in Jericho. I would like to gamble, please. You! Get out of here! Chatter boy. Come over here. You asking him to sit in here? Ling doesn't draw the color line. Why should I? I draw it. I don't sit with blacks, yellows, or redskins. I'm part Indian, friend. should have told me. Are you going to let him get away with it? <laughs> Why not? You should have told him. Taken. The mills of the gods grind slowly, madam. Sit down. Play draw. Put up your money, boys. I'm sorry, I don't know how to play it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of a game do you play? Fantan, Mahjong, Pai Gao. Pai Gao? <laughs> <laughs> You're in luck, Jack. No way for you to lose in here. Think of a game, boy. Any game. In China, we sometimes bet on cockroaches. <laughs> this isn't China. We don't play with bugs. Go home and save your money. Go get your roaches, boy. We lift the cup and place bets on which cockroach reaches the edge of the circle first. Mm -hmm. It is impossible to cheat. One we must mark. Fifty on the white. I'll cover that. Ready? A hundred on the white. I'll cover that, Taffy. Go ahead. All right. Come on, Black. Come on, Black. Come on, Black. Come on, Black. This way, this way. Come on, Black. 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 Come on, Get away. Get away. Funny, why don't you shave sometime? <laughs> 150 on the white. 150 on the black. Wait. I've got 100 that says white will do it again. You got a bet. Come on, go. White. Come on, black. 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 on the white. Come on, white. White! Come on. He told you it was honest. From here on in, cockroaches are out! One thousand dollars. Seven hundred and fifty on the girl. The rest profit. That's what I was playing for. 
I told you once before, Jack, we don't buy and sell people here. Oh. Oh. Come on! Get out! I get back where you belong. If you ever do that again, I'll kill you. How? Knife in the back, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Now you people get out of here! Come on! Get out! Get out! We all understand your intolerance, Masters. But last night you offended the wrong Indian. Get out of my way, Deacon. Say your prayers, Brother Masters. You're a corpse. Does the deacon go free? It was in self-defense. This man drew his gun first. It is me, China Boy Chang, Mr. Deacon, sir. What do you want? I saw you today. You were magnificent. The Lord was with me. Have you come to say a prayer for the dead? No, sir, Mr. Deacon, sir. I... Would you please... Could you teach me how to shoot a gun? Those who live by the gun, die by the gun. In the house of the Lord, Find a place in Chinatown. You tell anybody about this, I'll shoot your ears off. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger, a traveling through this world of woe. No, no, no. I shot hit him in the hand, and I was fast. The race is not always to the swift. Observe. There. You'll never be as fast. Though crippled, the gentleman of straw still lives. By now, I'd probably be stretched on Mother Earth and the... Uh, a man downstairs would be prodding my grimy soul with a pitchfork. As my teacher used to say, let no undertaker write this for your epitaph. Here lies the fastest draw in town. 
And because my teacher was a perfectionist, I'm still around to enjoy the flesh pots. He always told me the idea was to kill. Um, turn up. Knife. Uh, salt. A spoon. We call them pussy willows. Why, mistress? Because they're like little kittens. Why then not call them kitten willows? <laughs> oh, you light the whole house with your smile, Kip. I'm going upstairs and lie down for a little while. It's the boy with the laundry. Today you can speak English to him. My, how surprised and proud he'll be of you. Josan left him. Nehoma. Very well, thank you, sir. Dim gai neem gong tong wa? I think... The English is also beautiful. It was to be a sweet surprise. Please speak it to me. My old mistress wishes it. You have learned bad manners along with your English. Perhaps it's not your fault. They're contaminating. Con contami contaminate? It means to soil, like dirty laundry. It's not fitting to talk of my master and mistress in such manner. You forget your place, woman. It's not wrong to honor my master, sir. Would you like me as your master? Any slave would be honored to be in your household, sir. speak English very well. You have learned quickly. I'm fortunate, sir, that my old owner think I am worthy to teach. I would like you in my house. Jogging. Kim Sung. There is no need for you to stay here. They do not consider you bound to them. Come with me. You'll be happier with your own people. I am owned by this house. You ask me to do what you always accuse these people of. Until this person is sold, I cannot leave here. Does he pick up the washing? Two times a week, Master. But if you wish, I will wash the clothes. Now you got enough to do. I'll take that. It is not heavy. Too heavy for a little girl like you. What do you want, on a stove? Going? She is. Like that? Cha 
Chinese ladies always dress like that. Well, maybe you better go along without me, huh? Two days a year you go to church, and Easter's one of them. I do not please you, master? Of course you please him, and he's not your master. Now get in. behind her owners. You're not a slave and we're not your owners and we all walk together. Now come along. For lo, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of the singing of the birds is come, and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. When I saw Link and Ma Bartlett coming into the Lord's house, for a moment like all of you, I thought my eyes were tricking me. But it was no trick, for there she was, the Chinese girl. We are all children of God. Good morning. Thank you, Will. It was a fine sermon. You're the one to be thanked. Please come again, Miss Kim. We don't see you too often, Link, but when we do, you'll make your point. If you have a moment, I'd like to talk about the choir. We well, certainly will. Link, will you take Kim home? Bye, right, Kim. Mm. Woman, Master? Who? Oh. The one with eyes of fire. A lot of women had fire in their eyes today, Ken. Unlike that one, Master. The nerve of that man bringing a heathen into the house of God. <laughs> those mountains. 
why? Do you want to go back across it? No, Master. Not today. Not yesterday. The first time in my life, I feel I belong. I'm so happy. Don't you have any folks? No. I grew up as a servant slave in a big house with many rooms. I was so lucky. My mistress liked me and trained my mind and my hands and protect me. Then, in the year of famine, famine? <laughs> no, famine. Famine. I was sold and sold again. Until one day you bought me. I'm glad I did. Would you like to be kissed? I do not know kiss. Kiss is when we touch lips. touched me. I will pray my God and your God that it will be a man's son. What is it, Master? Mm -mm. Nothing. But I displease you. No. Oh, I want to please you so much. You please me fine, Kim. We better go. Come on. To the mountain. It was wonderful there, mistress. Take these into the kitchen. You want something, Ma? Yes. To talk. About what? Now don't play with me, Link. I saw you looking at her. First time you've seen her. You're pretty smart, aren't you? What are you planning to do? I don't know. All I know is she doesn't seem different all of a sudden. Perhaps she should live with her own people. Why, Ma? Well, she's young. She should be thinking of a home of her own. There's that nice boy. That nice boy wants to buy her from me. You know how they treat their women. He'd never marry her. She'd only be a slave. And you, Link, would you marry her? Would you have her for a daughter-in-law? I don't know, Link. If it was just me and you, yes. But there are other people and, well, problems. You sound like the rest of the town, Ma. Let's drop it, huh? No, because I don't want her hurt, or you hurt. And I won't allow a love affair in my house. 
Suppose you let me run my own life. It's not only your life I'm thinking of. Yes, mistress. There is work for me. One of your gods, child? Yes, Kuan Yin, the goddess. Like as not, she can help you just as much as mine. You're troubled, mistress? About you and my son. There is no longer need, mistress. The master wants me now. I may be honored to bear your first grandson. You can't, Kim. Uh, am I not worthy? Well, that has nothing to do with it. You can't because it isn't right. But, but it is an honor to me to be the mother of his children. The children and I will have home and... We will be very happy here. No, Kim. No. But it is my duty to your son. Perhaps in China, but not here. Promise me. Promise me you won't be like a wife unless you are. But why? Because, because I say so. But... Promise. I will obey you, mistress. That's a good girl. I do thank the Great Spirit that my master desires me. But please make wonderful old mother get well in her head quickly. Shouldn't bother you, Link. Wait! No, no, wait, I was only fooling, Link. Get out. I, 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 was, I was only fooling now. Link! Got your dates mixed. This is April, not July. Wasn't me got them mixed. Now, just a minute. What you did just now wasn't too wise, Link. No. No, and what you did yesterday wasn't too wise either. Suppose you mind your own business. When you bring a Chinese into church, it's everybody's business. If I want to take her to church, I'll take her. Next, you'll be asking us to break bread with her. Don't flatter yourself. He forgets the notes we hold. His business depends on the bank. First you forsake our language and our gods. I do not forsake our gods. Then why did you go with them to the temple? Because my mistress wishes it. One cannot sit in contemplation in such a place. It is full of people. They sing and a man talks and talks. Barbarians. What is it? The master wishes a little stiffness in a, in a shirt of white. 
and 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 not to wet them with water from their mouth when you iron it. I'm sorry. I told to say it. He seems to like making me lose face in front of you. But I am as good a man as he, Kim Sung. I am. You went with him in his wagon to the mountains. Yes. It was beautiful. You must not ride with him, Kim Sung, or go to his temple. You're not my master. I cannot take orders from you. I would buy you from him if I could. I take you back to China where we belong. Perhaps I do not wish to be bought or sold. doing up at this time of night? I'm waiting for the master. He might need food. He won't be back tonight. I'm off to bed with you. Kim, are you in love with my son? What is love, mistress? means that you want to be with a man and only with him. To bear his children, nurse him when he's sick, and, and laugh with him when he's happy. I think it means to be happy doing all the thousand things. All the scrubbing and cooking and mending and, and worrying. Because they're for him and, and him alone. For a woman, love means belonging and happiness because you belong. Then I love your son. Is this wrong, mistress? Don't rightly know, child. Any luck, Link? Did you try, Bodhi? Tonopa? Must be some business somewhere. There's none here. Cabot's cancelled. And all the others. And Peter wants to see you about your notes. What are you gonna do? How the hell do I know? Take this one. That'll be twenty dollars, Mr. Bartlett. Oh, put it on the account, please. You've already got far too much on your account. Cash, please. Thank you. Shall I wrap it? No, thanks. I'll take it. We meet in the most unlikely places these days. I like your hat. Thank you. 
Have you learned Chinese yet? <laughs> Ma asked me to pick up a dress. See you later, Eddie. My, how Mrs. Bartlett must have shrunk. Why did you buy her a dress, Link? I don't know. I thought you'd like it. Times like these, I miss your pa's help. He know what to tell you. He had no right to go off to war. An old man like that. Man's a right to stand up for what he believes. It'd be mighty rough, son. You and Kim. Maybe not. She could pass for white most anywhere if she dressed right. in it. Oh, no, I am not. I, I cannot wear this. Oh, it's because it's strange. You'll get used to it. I will thank the master. In her goddess. Maybe you could give mine a hand and somehow make this come out right. I. I would cherish your gift, but I cannot wear it. What's the matter, Kim? I am that which I am. You can wear clothes like this. You'd look just beautiful. Would you look beautiful with long hair and a braid, Master? No, I guess not. As much as I pray, even your God cannot change the color of my skin or yours. I like your color, Kim. No. You would have me white. But I cannot be. No matter how much I wish it. Well, I'll keep you dressed as you are, then. It would be... It would be better if you sell me, Master. Jen wished to buy me. I'm not selling you to anybody. You're marrying me, Kim. Oh, Mr. Bartlett. <laughs> Mistress? Yes. I know. Would you... Will you bless me? Here endeth the lessons. I'm fast enough to kill any man. 
One never knows until the day. But I've taught you all I'm going to teach you. A word of advice, brother. Don't go into town wearing one of these. The folks would be very offended. Remember, Ecclesiastes 1, verse 2. Where did you get that? I bought it, Uncle. With this gun, any man can walk tall here. Skill at killing is no measure of a man. Want me to come in with you, Ma? No, boy. Sheriff? But she actually brought her into church, as bold as brass, and in the most indecent costume. It was silks you wanted, wasn't it? Over this way. And... I hope she isn't going to be all day. Well? Good morning, Link. Do you have a minute? Sure. Do you mind, Susan? No need for you to go. Well, will you marry Kim and me? Thanks. <laughs> Link, marrying's part of my job. When do you want it to be? I could just as easy go over to Carson City. Any marrying to be done, I'll do it here. Thank you, Will. You're not really going to marry them, are you? Wedlock's a holy state, Susan. He's a man and she's a woman. Good Lord won't raise an eyebrow, so why should we? We don't serve breeds in this store. A good day, Mrs. Bartlett. A fine day, Mrs. O'Leary. I'm bringing this back. Didn't it fit the, uh, your hired girl? No, it didn't. And she's not my hired girl much longer. She's going to be my daughter-in-law. Your daughter-in-law? You heard me. Now, let's see your silks. White, maybe, for a wedding dress. Well, Kim don't wear dresses. They don't look right on her. You're not going to let her get married in a pair of pants. You wore them when you got married, didn't you? Not for anyone to see, I didn't. I'm a respectable woman. I'm glad to hear it. Maybe you're in the wrong store, Mrs. Bartlett. Maybe I am. Then go where the rest of the heathens trade, to Chinatown. Come on, Chip. Ma Bartlett? Would you tell your son to come and pick up his things? I'm cleaning house. I can see you're dressed for it. No, oh, Kim, where are you going? Come back here. This is something that I must do, mistress. But, Kim.
May I have them, please? Besides running his errands, what else do you do for him? Please? That's the lot. Here. These things should stay with you. As you know, one woman is not enough for one man. What? My husband may wish to visit you from time to time. Your what? My husband. I am to be first wife. <laughs> well, the bank gave me 30 days. Your father went broke once. He made out all right. Let's try another town. Yes, sir. Please enter. We hear you are to marry. You must not marry him. I do not hope you to bless this, sir. It is not my blessing that concerns me, Kim Song. You, you won't have peace together. Sometimes in the future, perhaps. But not in our lifetime. But we can try. He has already lost his freight line over you. There are other towns. They're all alike. We are a patient people. Our custom teaches us... I have no people or customs. I was born a slave and sold as a slave. He freed me and I will never be a slave again. Then what of the children? Have you thought of them? Yes. I believe our love will protect them. You think his love for you will last? Yes. I love him. Perhaps it is sufficient. Good morning. What do you want? Could I talk to you a moment privately? No need to go. I heard you're having some financial trouble. I want to give you $1,000. Like the last time? No, I was wrong. Buying and selling people is wrong. I'm sorry. It is a loan, if you wish. I don't borrow from people like you. Then sell me your horse, 1,000. He's not worth 50. Mr. Bartlett, you saved my life once. I want to repay you. Repay nothing. You want that girl and you're not going to get her. Now get out. Get out. I said get out! I'm going to kill you. Try it. What's the matter with you, man? You buy a Chinese girl, and you lose your business over her. Then a man offers to help you, and you chuck him in the street. Uh -huh. Listen, Link. Nobody's perfect, but you're a perfect lunatic. And I'll no work for a madman.
You wouldn't touch one with a ten-foot pole. Close the door. There's some ladies across the street. It shocked them to hear four-letter words. I'm just here to congratulate you. Thank you. I just want to wish you happiness. Thanks again. Only I'm afraid that's a wish that won't come true. But you want it to come true, huh? A woman always wants the man she loves to be happy. Where shall I send a wedding present? Oh, home is all right. Oh, you're not moving to Chinatown? Now, that's more like it, ready girl. Well, Link, I always knew you were brave, but I just didn't know how brave. What people think of you doesn't matter who does it. That's the ticket. If they don't like it, go tell them to fly your kite like you did with me. I better close the door in the back, too. I am not saying anything. The whole town is insane already. Oh, but you say it louder. Somebody has to say it loud so that you will listen. Link, there is something called the color line, and you can't step over it. I know I'm part Indian. You can rob, you can kill, you can sell your soul to the devil, but you can go marry a dirty heathen. You hold your tongue, you... You're not fit to say her name. Thanks, Lily. Thanks. Oh, Link. I do not know what to do. I know I love him. But is this enough? I'd rather die than hurt him. me amusing? Yeah, but we've had our laugh. Now get out. I said get out of here. A whiskey, please. Where did you learn how to shoot like that? I gave you some good advice. Why didn't you take it? I didn't pay you for advice. Why, you miserable psalm singer. Don't tell me you taught him. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I had a good teacher. My drink, please. Do what you paid you to. Get rid of him. No, just wait a minute. The man's entitled to a drink. Give me that bottle. Give a glass to the man. Ecclesiastes 1, verse 2. Vanity of vanity, saith the preacher. All is vanity. Lap it up. I said, lap it up. I have no quarrel with you. And well, I have with you. Down on your knees. Not for you or any man. Well, then I've just got one more thing to teach you. How to die.
had no quarrel with you. Only with Link Bartlett. Him? Yeah. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it. It was a fair fight. I wonder, is he good enough to take Link? How's that? He's gunning for Link. Go tell Link. Get going the back way. Go! What happened? The laundry boy shot at David. Hey, sir! your gun I'm going to kill you you made me lose face you're going to pay for it I understand how you feel I I shouldn't have done what I did I'm sorry you wouldn't be afraid because I killed my teacher so the deacon taught you huh who do you think taught the deacon stop looking for trouble Jack go home I think you are a coward. I'll meet you in the street. If I have to kill, I kill in public. that? What do you need a gun for? A laundry boy wants to kill me. You'd take that right off, Ligon Bartlett. That'd be murder. Stay out of this, Ma. I have no choice. He called me yellow. I thought you didn't care what people say or think. About some things, I don't. Then why are you marrying Kim? What's she got to do with it? Everything. If I hadn't butted in, you'd have had her as your woman. The only reason you're marrying her is because me and a lot of folks prodded you into it. Listen to me. Stay out of my life. Stay out of this. I will not be fight over. Listen, you love me, don't you? Because I love you, I, I will not destroy you. Don't worry, I'll take care of anybody who steps out of line. I must go back to Chinatown, where I belong. You belong here with me. Perhaps one day we could be loved and be happy. But not in our lifetime. With Chang. Chang isn't going to be around. Now go inside. No woman's gonna save you. Go! You wanna change your mind? No. But this time, shoot to kill. It's you I want to save. Please take me into your house. Please. You'd even be a slave. Get up off your knees. Leave me be. You said I'm free to do what I want. I want Cheng to take me back to my people. This is America, not China. You don't have to be anybody's slave. It would be easier, even slave, in Cheng's house than wife in yours. 
please. Please help me. Please. I bought you to keep you from being a slave. I'm not ever going to let you be one. Now get back in the house. Not all women in China are slaves. Neither is love only a Western word. You want proof of my love for you? Here. Cut it. No! A wife must obey her husband. A man doesn't wear such a thing. Please. go with him, I won't stop you. I love you and I want to marry you. It's your life, Kim. by my ancestors that I will make you happy. 